Good evening, this is Edward, sonsofgod.com, Friday, July 9th, 2010. Briefly, I want to share a short meditation on the topic of travail. Anne and I have been working on the re-edit of our book, The Manifestation of the Sons of God. In one section of the book this evening concerning the travail of the sons of God and I just want to share a short meditation something just to to think about because everything that we're dealing with in this whole scope and realm of walking with God walking in the spirit realm deals with what I would call a quickening us we're talking about a quickening that's happening within your ability to hear and understand what God is doing and where you are positioned in the timeline of what the Lord is completing. Where we stand now at the portals of this new day uh, has escaped most people. Uh, I don't believe by and large people really understand how close they are right now to the manifestation of an entirely new era. But as I read this word, travail, that we've been working on, it was quickened to me even more so to understand that we're dealing with such a unique mystery. When you think of travail, obviously you think of women in childbirth and the process that they go through and and how difficult that process is uh, as men we can only surmise but nevertheless we know it's it's a very difficult process the, 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 the process of birthing a child so when you take a couple steps back from that and you you read Romans 8 Romans 8 talks about the travail of the sons of God that all of creation travails for the revealing or manifestation of the sons of God, it somehow always gets this feeling of being future tense out there in the future where you don't really quite relate to it in the present tense. You, you don't quite relate to it happening within you. It's, it's something that's happening outside of you. But this is something I think the Lord really wants us to recognize that we are in the process of travail, that our bodies, all that we are, spirit, soul, and body, has been in travail for the release of the Christ, the manifestation of the Son within and through the sons, that we're, we're in a process of a metamorphosis, we're in the process of change and that change deals with the birthing of sonship which is coming out of you and so to take a step back begin to understand how far and how deep we are into the process of travail so what I believe the Lord really wants us to understand is that what you're doing what you're living with every day, 24-7, day in, day out, is part and parcel of this process of travail, that you are in travail now. This is not something that we're looking to see happen. This is not something that is outside of us. We know that creation's in travail, but even that can be uh, esoteric or ethereal. You know, when you say, okay, well, what does that really mean? Does it feel like, how do you quantify it? You can't really go to a dictionary and pull it up and say, okay, well, this is what this means. The travail of sonship, what does it mean? It's, it's truly a mystery. It is, it is a profound mystery. You know, that, that, that the angels are clueless, look on. They don't, even, they don't understand it. They don't understand what, what this is that we're experiencing. But, you know, so... What do you experience through the day? You, you, you know, there are numbers. Of, there are a number of of fronts that we're dealing with at the same time. 
both the deep purging and purifying work of the Spirit as, it, as the Lord is, is relentless. Uh, and in, in the same token, you've got the satanic assault that continues to ramp up more and more as you enter into the levels of authority and the administration of the kingdom that uh, you become much more known because the spirit world realizes that there's a force here now that wasn't, that must be contended with, even though they cannot. But in the midst of those two situations, you have a third area, and that is that it's not really about, you know, uh, you, know you could say, well, it's about the work of the cross, it's, it's about this assault that we've been under, but there's something else, because it's really the travail that you've been under, and the travail that you're living. And when you get up in the morning, when you look in the mirror, when you go throughout the day, to stop and understand, my word, I'm in travail. What am I experiencing? I'm experiencing the travail of sonship. No matter how your day goes, and how you might look at it, what situations or dynamics you may have to deal with, when it comes down to it, you're living in travail 24-7. You are living in travail right now. And we know that there's only one solution. The baby must come to birth, even though the dragon is at the gates seeking to devour. We're walking, we're living travail 24-7. I believe that's all that I wanted to, uh, to address here, was just to bring an awareness of a level of experience that's unfolding. And one other point, uh, which Anne made mention to recently here, we had another earthquake, that the creation, as we know it, is experiencing the birth pangs, it is experiencing this travail. And we've known this for some time, I'm, we've watched this, that the expression of this travail that's going, that's, that's, that's being experienced within creation. And we know once again that creation is not inanimate. Creation is, uh, is very much uh, a living, uh, a, 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 you know, a cognizant force. Uh, all of creation, the earth, is not inanimate. It's not something that has no life. It very much has life, very much has consciousness. And, and creation, as we know it or do not even understand it, is partaking of this same travail that you and I are living every day. It can be manifested in many ways, whether it's earthquakes, which we had recently, or it could be other climatic situations. There are a number of things happening across the globe on a natural level that are not what they appear. You know, you can say, oh, well, no, it's, it's, this is what that means. Well, no, see, scientifically, Edward, um, we have uh, this situation and this situation, which therefore caused this situation. So, you know, and it's not true. We're not seeing it on, you're not seeing it on the right level. Creation is in travail, and it, and it is not as it appears, just as the suns are in travail, and the suns are going to bring to birth the sun in them. This is where we are. We're living this, and I just uh, I bless you with this meditation this evening. That every day, every breath you breathe, you're experiencing and living travail. You are in travail. And things are going to get even a lot more interesting. I guarantee you that. Amen. <laughs>